Hello again, and welcome to EVE Online. My name is Matilius258, and this is EVE. My in-game character name is Saris Vandal, and you know the drill. Uh, this video is anomalies, or ratting. Um, it's kind of like missions, but don't have to deal with agents and all that stuff, and it can be a lot more profitable. Um, so, what's the point of doing anomalies then? I mean, you have missions, and you get loyalty points, which you can buy fancy stuffs with, right? So, why would I want to bother with anomalies? Well, with anomalies, you get blueprints. That helps. And dog tags, which you can sell for quite a bit of money. Um, but the blueprints, I mean, where I am in Serpentis, or Serpentis space, um, if I was really, really lucky, haven't been yet, just started this, I could get a Vindicator drop, and that ship's worth like a billion isk, so that's a pretty fair exchange, I think. It's not fair at all. In fact, that's amazing for you and me. So yeah, that's why, that's why this is good. Plus, you get the bounties, which are tons higher than they ever are in missions. Can't say for level 5 missions, because that's hard, so might be different for that, but anomalies are anybody's territory. So, different kinds of ships that you need for doing this kind of stuff. Well, it is basically PvE, so you're just shooting stuff and you're probably doing it at range because th this video is for the people getting into this like first time round not I have amazing skills I can use a strategic cruiser and tank infinite amount of damage for infinite amount of time that's not possible by the way but still so I guess just normal ships that I can think of off the top of my head would be the Dominics, straight up, because it can tank a whole lot, and it's a drone boat, so sentries, which do a whole lot of damage. Easy, just sit 100 kilometers away and nail everything, that's what I do. Um, I do, however, hear that the Ishtar Infinite, overpowered, not overpowered, jack of all trades ship, the Ishtar, also is a very good ship for this, except you have to keep moving around a bit and stuff, and yeah. Um, for other ships, I don't really know. I'm, hmm. Arm uh, of course he's online. Armageddon, maybe. Uh hmm. Mimitars Can't really say anything there. Yeah. I think that's about it, but for like really basic just not really much skills needed stuff but you get the point um however I do know that people like to use the marauders for especially level 10 and escalations for em for anomalies so if you hear people using something like the Vargur for example, for doing anomalies, like, full-time, that's what they make their money from, then, yeah, that's why. Um, alright, uh, ships, NPC damage types and damage shield. Alright, so, basically, I th believe I said this, I don't remember, in the mission running video, that... NPCs all have a damage type, and they all have st Um... It's the same thing here. I mean... It's... J 
just it's the exact same thing I mean just read this again I guess because that's all I can say I mean it's the same as mission running if you have this NPC do this and shoot using this uh, it's pretty straightforward for me I am in Serpentis space so I'm gonna evidently be hitting and being hit by some Serpentis so I have to tank a thermal and kinetic which in my fitting which I'll show you in a minute I do have uh, and damage to deal kinetic over thermal and I have a full set two full sets of wardens so I'm definitely doing kinetic damage um, do 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 all right I'll do that in a minute first I'll show you my fit so this is the Dominic's which in my opinion, I would say would be the best kind of just starting anomaly battleship kind of thing. Because it's got a really good tank and it's got a... Got English. It's got a great bonus towards drones. So, my fit... Well, this is my fit. I'm missing a module. Like It's kind of hard to find out here in Nullsec for some reason. Don't know why. Just is. Um, my fit's kind of, it's definitely a drone boat, but it definitely is meant for riding. So, I've got a full set of drones, wardens, and some geckos, just in case they get a bit too close, which they do every once in a while. And this, so I don't have to spend time repairing all my wardens. Um, I'll just run you through the fit. So the low slots... Low slots for the Dominic, since it's an armor tank, it, it, the low slots go for the armor tank. So I've got three, I've got f five of my slots meant for the tank. Damage controls, that's straightforward. Armor repair, because you need one of those. And then the resist that you need. So Serpent is, they needed kinetic and thermal. So I have kinetic and thermal. And then just an adaptive, because. Adaptive's good all round, it's useful. And since it's a drone boat, I gave myself some extra drone damage. Um, moving to the mid slots, um, cap booster, because my repair will drain my battery, so have to keep one of those every once in a while in case I have to do some really big tanking. Uh, this, so I can actually target stuff and these to make sure my drones can hit things. Uh, okay, which system is that? Uh, he's close. In case you're wondering what I just did, I was doing, there's this guy who kind of infamous around the area I am. Haven't met him yet, but he's... As soon as he comes on, people light up like fire about where he is and all that, so I'm going to assume he's been annoying people for a long time. I do not want to meet him, so I keep an eye out for him. Um, what was I talking about? Right, uh, fit. Uh, battery, range, make sure drones can hit. Um, this, the larger mo large micro jump drive, that's, I keep that for two reasons. One, in case I need to get the hell out because my tank has broken, because there's, I don't know, five battleships at ridiculously close range to me, and because I can't overheat, terrible skills, this thing can't keep up, and I don't have the mod for increasing its repair. So... This just helps me keep things at range and keep me alive, I guess. Um, these, I keep these for two reasons. Well, actually, I'll come back to the guns. Okay, so it's a drone boat, so I need some link augmenters. Augmenters, they just increase the control range of your drones, which, yes, this makes sounds weird, but since sentry drones do not move, they just 
sit there. Control range makes you think, oh, that's how far away they can fly away from you, but it also pertains to how far they can target stuff, which I find strange. So, these just make it so I have extra range for my drone, so I can actually hit stuff. Um, the three augmenter ones that I have, they give my drones a range of 104 kilometers, which is actually pretty decent. I'd prefer to have twos, but the skills are ridiculous. Alright, so rigs, trimark, trimark, and either a nanobot accelerator to get your repair thing going faster, or a auxiliary nano pump is what you want so you can just heal a lot at one time I would have one it's just they are hard to find in Nullsec now the guns come in two parts one is my paranoia in case I get hot dropped and attacked this thing's not meant for PvP so they'll instantly be ha they'll instantly have an advantage um so, some protection's kind of what I'm going for. Maybe to just get them to go away for a while. Um, the second reason is because eventually stuff does get close enough where, like, 30 kilometers to where I can actually start shooting it. So, that just adds, like, I think it's, uh, yeah, 80 DPS just to what my drones can do. So... It just helps. So that's my fit. It's a basic fit. It's just you want to have a buffer tank with a little bit of extra oomph. Huh. Um, make sure you can just get around. It's just you're basically fitting for missions. That's basically it. Good morning to you, too. Uh, I'm off on tangent again. Uh, Alright. So that's a basic fit. Um, now, that's a very passive fit, really, because it's... You're designed to be weddled, uh, weddled, whittled down a bit. However, I do hear that people using the... Chris's? Yes. The scorpion. Sorry, rattlesnake. Scorpion's the normal one. The scorpion. Ah. I just made the mistake twice. The rattlesnake with an active tank. Um. Shield tank, by the way. So they can use crews and, uh. Geckos? I think it is. Or, uh, Gecko. Because it's got a really nice bonus to drones. Can't use many, so maybe it's two sentry drones and crews. I don't know. I just know that a lot of people use this. They also use it for missions. I think I mentioned that in the mission video, too, anyways. Uh, anywho, moving on. Alright, so... Anomaly levels. Okay, so just like how missions have a 1 through 5 level, anomalies have a 1 through 10 plus 1 through 4 specific. Does that make sense? No? Good. This is basically what it looks like. So when you open, when you go out in space and you open up your little scanner thing to look at all the anomalies, which we'll be doing in a minute, you'll get all of the combat anomalies in their name, so in this descending order for difficulty, 10 being the hardest, hideaway, burrow, refuge, yada 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 yada, you can read, um, basically dictates just how hard they're going to be. And however, those fancy names like for Hidden or Forsaken or Forlorn, for example, those are addition kind of like sub levels, if you want. So, like, 
I could have a level 5 yard anomaly, but it could be a forlorn yard level, so it instead would be a level 4, level 5. Yeah. Um, the difficulty difference, I would have to say I have absolutely no idea, because to me it's more just I want to go there, I want to shoot stuff, and I want to make some money. I mean, it's it's a way to make money. I mean, in the like past two hours I've made, what was I at? I'm at 30 now, so that'd be 40 million plus whatever loot I have that I can just break down into minerals and sell. So that's like 50 million in two hours, which isn't half bad actually. Um, so yeah, that's the anomaly levels. Um, for the hidden forsaken forlorn thing, the only thing I can really say is just expect it to be harder because I really don't know if there's like if a forlorn den is going to be s less hard than just a normal yard or it would be on par with say a normal port I honestly just don't know so I mean in this fit it doesn't really matter anyways you're going to be able to get away no matter what happens. You're not going to lose your ship, so you'll find out the hard way. It's a learning experience. Um, Must-haves and do's. Okay, so things you have to have. Um, Alright, so when you're running the anomaly, the main thing that you're really going for is the loot. What? Not the really. I mean, you're going for the bounties that you'll get so you get paid, but you also get the loot from the ships you've destroyed. So, for you'll probably, you'll need a mobile tractor unit. In fact, I'm telling you right now, go get a damn mobile tractor unit. These things are lifesavers. Um... I think they're around 7 million on average, but they're so worth it. I mean, it's not even funny just how important these things are. They collect all the wreck loot stuff. They don't salvage, they just collect and put it all together into a big container and you can just come by with some other ship and pick it all up and leave. Pick up the tractor unit too, but you know, just leave the wrecks because salvaging wrecks just gives you parts and stuff, which I. debatable on whether or not it's even worth salvaging. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just depends on how I feel for the day. Um. So. Another thing you also have to do is really consider where you are in space because you're going to be there for a while, maybe like half an hour to an hour depending on the site. So keeping this up and if you have the ability to keep looking at your uh, intel channel to see if anybody's coming by. Um, just watch local. Make sure there's nobody who's going to shoot you. So, um, so what that means is just my overview is going to look a little weird for this because I'm making it in a different way so I can keep track of everything. So, let us head out. I'm going to find an easier one so I don't have to spend so much time. And If it's harder, I'm going to be thinking, oh shit, I'm being shot at. Maybe I should be 
concentrating on the fact that there's a battleship right next to me. And he has a few friends with him too. That I will not be able to speak normally. Not that I do usually, but you get the point. So, um, in space, open up a probe scanner. And the newts. And I'm a level. Um, let's see. Five would be nice. Five would be easy. Um, port seven. Hmm. Let's see. Where's something? Rally point. What is a rally point? Six. Oh, that's super easy. Do a forlorn rally point. So that means it would be a level four, level six. Uh. So, let's just move everything around. I can keep track of everything. Um, okay. So you can see in my chat I've been doing some anomaly running for a while, so... Da -da -da -da. So I warped in at a hundred, so I'm already at a distance. Um, so I'm gonna hit this thing already, so I get that going. Launch the mobile tractor unit so it's collecting. And also get some drones out. And I like to go... I did not notice just how far away everything was. Okay. Um, let's do this. Uh, hmm. I think hopefully that way? My range is good, but it's not that good. <laughs> so I'm gonna micro jump drive over and see if I'm just close enough. That's near perfect, actually. Stop here. Um, let my thing slow down first so I don't lose my drones. Get this going and start getting stuff targeted. Now, usually, there's... One of the biggest questions is, especially, is what ship do I target first? And really, that's kind of a learning experience kind of thing. But I just prefer to go for frigates first. Um, mainly because they're fastest. I'm just going to make this really quiet for a second. It's better. Now I don't have to speak as loud. Um, reason I do frigates, then cruisers, then bigger ships. <laughs> uh, mainly because just how fast they get close to you. Plus, um, in some escalations and in some sites, I hear there are warp scramblers and neutralizers, which will attack your tank, not your tank, your capacitor, and also keep you pinned, so they'll eventually be able to break your tank with time. So, I just get rid of those first anyways, and then deal with the bigger stuff as I go along. Um, I am, however, amazed that none of the ships have actually bothered targeting me yet, because they haven't turned yellow. Which means they're kind of just bumbling around, I guess. Well, they're definitely heading towards me. Oh, 
Huh. Their tanks are on. It's just... I don't know. Um... So, another thing I have to say when it comes to running these anomalies, as they get harder, you also get more waves and stuff, and by waves I mean just more enemies appear. Kind of like in missions, same as missions. Um, usually just whenever you kill the last one, another a message pops up or something, or not. And just a whole lot more enemies show up, usually a little bit harder, sometimes even easier which is rare but hey could happen yes yeah, see um let's get this stuff going can't target that much but da 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 there we are still amazed none of these have started targeting me yet. I find that so weird. But yeah, as I was saying, waves start and they just get more and more and more. And that's about it. So, um, where's the tr mobile tractor unit? There it is. See, the mobile tractor unit's working. It's doing what it does. Collect stuff. Speaking of which, I'm going to actually save that location. Yeah, I've lost stuff before. Oh, that's why they're not targeting me. They're targeting my sentry drones. That's... Okay. <laughs> Whatever floats your boats, NPCs. Check it. Ah, there we go. Now I'm being targeted. The yeah, problem with these things, when it comes to making videos of this especially, it's kind of boring. I mean, I'm just going to be talking, really. I mean, it's just me shooting stuff. I mean, this is one of those grinding mechanics you get in games, because it's basically a money-making machine, and I did not set the target. What are they shooting? Core Port Admiral. Which one? Of course there's multiple. Uh, da -da -da -da. Ah, that one. So, what was I going on about? Oh, right. You're gonna be bored. <laughs> Because there's nothing happening. Oh, that's actually close. Huh. Um. Anyway, yeah, this is just one of those core grinding mechanics. I mean, it's just. It makes money. And. Especially towards. Uh. Kind of like when you move out into null sec and you've graduated from high sec and low sec, or if you're me, skipping low sec. Uh, it's just one of the way. It's just. It's kind of the main way people make money out here. Because. I mean, money is easy to come by. I mean, there's many ways. I mean, there's that PI video that I did. I mean, PI is a big thing. 
a lot of people do that. I've, I've seen people in my corporation that are doing that in this very system, but um, this just makes more money simply. I mean, it makes it makes more money faster. It's just not as exciting, I would say. Because I guess there's like all those stories of where people were Oh, hello. I hit the trigger. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I guess I should probably explain that. Um, another thing that comes with uh, these anomalies is that when you destroy certain ships, you'll trigger another wave. Um, it's not all of them. Not sure which ones in particular, actually but they do happen and basically it just means that a whole bunch of ships are just going to appear out of nowhere when you least expect it which at the time is kind of funny because it's like alright almost done two ships to go enemy detected 87 ships to go joy <laughs> okay so maybe not really but you get the point um but yeah so there are trigger ships that happens but anyway back to what I was saying in Nullsec yes this is what you use for making money it's it's quick cash um plus you get to I guess technically test out well not test out to kind of figure out how much of a damage bonus a certain skill gave you maybe like for example at the moment I am technically using uh, century ones because I don't have century turret level 5 trained I'm actually training that as we speak for the next 20 days. Uh. Um, it really doesn't give much of a bonus. It gives, what, 5% damage bonus? But I guess technically you could test it out here. Figure out just how much damage you actually are giving yourself. There's the alarms going off, and... Are they actually attacking my drones? Mm, don't think so. Just nicking them. Um, start shooting them with my own ship now. Finally got close enough. Um, <laughs> what was I going on about? <laughs> uh. Oh. Wait, no, that wasn't it. What was I going on about? Nah. All right, so they are targeting this drone. Return to drone bay. Engage target. Launch extra drone. I'll engage this target. I'm being sensor damaged. I did not have my resists up. Whoopsie. Uh, da -dum, ba -da 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 -dum, ba -da -dum. Da -da -dum, ba -da -dum. Lots of ships everywhere. Lots of ships everywhere. I am singing, why am I singing, terribly in fact, <laughs> alright, that was, okay, ignore that, uh, what was I going on about, money, passive, blah blah blah, quick cash, uh, waves, with triggers, uh, uh, I think that was, uh, Ah, blah, blah, blah. I don't remember what I was going on about. 
so uh huh. Yeah. Anyway, um So right now I'm kind of being surrounded and that's another wave. Okay. <laughs> Great. <sighs> How lovely. Wave after wave after wave. And what is close by? A lot of things. I'm really hoping everything at 76 is going to not attack me for a while, because that would be really handy. My wardens cannot hit that thing. Okay. Uh, right, so I'll set them to hit this. My drone's taken off. Uh, what is sensor dampening me? Or Vice Admiral. Where are you? You're this guy. Oh, oh no no no. I didn't notice that. No, save the drones. Save the drones. <laughs> uh Oh, whoops, wrong target. Okay. So... Lots of things are happening. I'm just gonna do this real quick. Throw out some geckos. Also, in case you're wondering, geckos are kind of a special event faction drone thing. Uh, they're basically fighters, but considered heavy drones, so I can actually use them. Uh, they actually sell for quite a bit on the market. I think it's at... What are these even worth? Really? You guys are all the way over there, and you pick to engage my geckos, but you won't engage me. Why am I complaining about this? And they're attacking. Ah, Okay, I'm just gonna pull everything real quick. Think back over to where's that thing? Let's just go that way. Loads and jump. So maybe the damage difference or difficulty differences with the forlorn and stuff is actually pretty significant. Because I did one of these earlier and it wasn't nearly as difficult as this. I shouldn't say difficult so much as just complicated. Right, so, get them engaging him because he's closest. I feel embarrassed. I mean, all this is happening, and I'm getting my ass kicked on a level s Okay. Quotation marks. Level 6. Anomaly. Because I did one of these earlier. It was actually pretty easy, so I was like, oh, okay. It's not that bad. Um. Because adding the word forlorn is actually pretty significant. Because. I guess it just is. Um, let that thing reload. Alright. 
So, tank is good. I think I can take these off for now so I can save some cap. Uh. As long as those things over there do not engage me, I should be fine. These things repair fast. Hmm. You know, it's funny. I'm here having to jump around and my tank's almost being broken and I'm in a level 6 with the word forlorn in front of it. And Just earlier I was doing the level 9 anomalies, the... What are they called? The Havens. <laughs> I found that easy. What is dampening me? Okay. Um. Oh, I just remembered what I was talking about. It was uh, skills and testing them out. Damn it, now they're all targeting me again. Ugh. Right, so... So... What well, I was going on about was anomalies are also good for like testing things out. So, like testing a tank out, just like pop in and just sit there for a while, seeing how long you can last and whatnot, in case you get attacked or something, I guess, and they're not using nukes for whatever reason. So, your cap's fine. Um, I guess also to see the difference, damage difference for drones and stuff, if you get the skills, like I said before. Um, other than that, it's just having fun shooting stuff in EVE again, because once you get out into Nullsec, it kind of dies down, really, because, I mean, yeah, there's rats and asteroid belts, for example, which are much tougher than in high sec, but I mean, the only other thing that you can really start shooting at that has any challenge are kind of these anomalies where you're getting like an entire army to try and kill you, or you go for PvP, which, quite frankly, there's a chance you just won't find anything. And yeah, if you're in a corp, you can join fleets and stuff, but even then, it's kind of hit or miss, really, because they might not find something. And you'll just be back to square one, looking for something to shoot for the next few hours, and find nothing, and go home. Log off, and go to sleep because you just realized it was two in the morning and you have school tomorrow or something. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of how this all goes. It's just mission running, just much more rats and a lot of other stuff and oh wow that's a lot of dps okay oh my uh must be them drones <laughs> oh 
really should be watching the local, not the clients chat. Um. Uh, what can I say? Oh, right. Um, if you're going to get into anomalies, I would highly recommend training sentry drones. One, because they're just useful regardless, and second, because you kind of need them for a lot of other things, too. I mean, yeah, they're good for missions. I think I said that in the mission video as well, but I see them used for PvP as well, so if you even get into that with, like, a corporation or something, it's good to just have those skills anyways. Um, other skills are just things to keep your buffer going and all that, so... Um... Hmm... Oh, I guess I can explain that while I'm here. Um, when you're doing a mission, you'll actually come across this. They're called escalations. Uh, basically, what happens is that once you've killed everything, a little message will pop up, and it will tell you you've intercepted so-and-so flavor text, flavor text, flavor text. And in your journal, which is over here, I think, it should give you a location where you can go and do a harder escalated version of a different site. And basically just... It just increases your chance of getting something interesting. So, a blueprint, uh, a fancy module, um, effects, maybe. I don't know what effects are, but I see people bragging about getting Vindicator blueprints plus some kind of uh, fancy shield thing and stuff, which is all worth, like, billions. So, I guess they have the right to kind of brag. <laughs> I mean, I would brag. I mean, it's like, uh huh, I've got freaking faction and officer loot and deep space stuffs. You have just the Tech 2 version. You need to stop shooting my drones. It's not nice. What did my drones ever do to you except shoot you? these all in so I can get rid of all of these stupid little cruisers pestering my ship if you're wondering why I'm not using the guns crap Ugh. all right Where's... there it is. Okay, well, there went that idea. So you remember what I was talking about, that Aryan light guy? Yeah, he pops in, and... The one problem is that despite how I'm in a ship that's, you know, a battleship, and I know him to, like, fly around in a Falcon, which is a cruiser. He 
can still take me down if he has the ability to, if he wants to. So, I'm just going to abandon real quick. I marked this, didn't I? No, I didn't. Ah, uh, shh. I... Did I? I think I did. I hope I did. <laughs> uh. Oh well. Anywho. I'll see what I had in there. And what not. Yeah, there's already a guy in a raptor. I don't know what he's doing. He might... He might even be trying to go hunt him, but I don't know. I'm just going to really quickly go get my MTU and just come back here because I don't want to get shot. <laughs> Paranoia! And while I'm here, I'll fix the ship. Where is it? There it is. Now he's gone. <laughs> He'll be back soon, so... Already pulled out, so it doesn't really matter anymore. Anyway, yeah, that was... That's basically it. Um... Man, I'm tired. So yeah, that's basically it. And escalations appear, you've shot everything, they appear, you can go do them. They get harder. I know that a lot of escalations require um, specialized Tengu strategic cruisers and Proteuses and whatnot, and some even require a little more than that. But all right, so it all scoop and oopsie. Get the hell out <laughs> before they start shooting me. <laughs> uh. I can get rid of the location too. So that was that. Um, in case you weren't wor you weren't watching this 23 million in loot stuff, that wasn't just from that. That's several other stuff. I'm just too lazy to go figure out where everything should go. Um, the kind of loot that you'll get, in there, you really does just mostly just contain what you would get from normal missions like ammunition scrap metal which can be nicely refined and whatnot drones some modules yada yada eventually maybe you'll get a meta four which is always nice um like that's always handy in case you don't have the tech two version muons um other than that, there's things you can get, like tags, for example. I haven't gotten very many, strangely enough, but yeah, you can get tags, which some of them are actually worth quite a bit of money, some of them not so much, depends on who you're selling them to. Um, sure, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, sorry for 
freaking out and getting the hell out. <laughs> it's just I've been killed far too many times recently and I haven't been killing other things. So, I don't want to lose my ship. Also, despite just starting ratting, I don't really have all that much money, so replacing a Dominix with all of its fittings is really, really hard to do. So, yeah. Um. <laughs> <sighs> Anywho, um, I hope that to uh, bleh. hope this was useful for your future endeavors in anomaly running, and hope you enjoyed watching the video. I will be doing a video eventually, so come back around, subscribe. I haven't done this before, so no idea what to say. Anyway, thank you for watching again. Bye.